Hi, my name is Vanessa Diane Lamb. I am a sophomore criminal justice major from New Jersey, and I currently attend the Delaware State University. So being able to pursue my education will benefit me because it will show me that I was just able to do it, that I was able to get this far. Um, everybody always says that the first year of law school is the hardest one. Um, that's where they, you know, decipher between, you know, the weak and then those that will actually be a lawyer. So me being able to just get through my first four years of college and then get through my four years of law school, that would show me that I was able to do it, um, especially since I've been saying that I want to be a lawyer since the sixth grade. So pursuing a dream that I've had since the sixth grade would be phenomenal. It'll be ideal. It'll show me that anything I want, I can put my mind to it. Anything I say, I can manifest and I can do. Pursuing my education will help my family because honestly, it'll make them proud of me, um, especially because I've been saying since the sixth grade that I'm going to be a lawyer. So it'll show them like, wow, you know, we have a lawyer in the family. I don't have any lawyers in my family whatsoever. So for them, they'll be able to say, you know, Vanessa, you know, that's our lawyer daughter. Or, you know, my granddaughter, Vanessa, she's a lawyer. So <laughs> it'll give them, you know, that little bragging right. Um, and also for my dad, my dad is waiting. He's patiently waiting for me to graduate so that he can retire. He keeps on telling me, Vanessa, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. My retirement is based off of you. So when I graduate, my dad is able to retire. So that'll definitely benefit him. Um, and it'll just be benefit my family, them being able to say that they're proud of me, be, them being able to say that, hey, you know, we have a lawyer in the family. If they need some legal advice, now they're able to come to me. So, you know, that's how it will benefit them. Um, me being a lawyer will benefit my community because I will be able to help out more than I already do. I'm already actively involved with my community, whether it's um, turkey drives or clothing drives or um, Thanksgiving drives or Christmas drives. I'm extremely involved in my community, but something I have always wanted to do was start my own profit organization. Um, I want to start a nonprofit homeless shelter. Um, I don't necessarily want it to be a homeless shelter, but more so a rehabilitation center. I want to be able to help people get back on their feet once they've experienced a rough time. Um, I want them to be able to get an education there, them to be able to receive medical help. Um, and I just want to give them the tools to become productive individuals in society. Um, so me being able to, you know, pursue my education and get my education will help me be able to create my nonprofit homeless shelter. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. So that's how I want to personally give back to my community, especially being from New, York, New Jersey, which is a very poor city, um, a very impoverished city, a, a city that's dangerous, you know. So that's where I would personally put my first homeless shelter. And then eventually I do want to build a legacy and I want to continue to create more. But New, York, New Jersey is where my first nonprofit homeless shelter would be at. So yes, that is how I plan to use my education to benefit me, my family, and my community. Thank you.